Hey everyone, this is Mike at Rocky Ridge Kennel and Loft. Um, I'm going to be showing um, how to make a real nice little uh, pigeon feeder. But I thought I'd give you a look at the uh, at Dixie's puppies since I showed showed her on the last video. Um, so she had 14 puppies. And one was uh, stillborn, and then one didn't make it. There was something wrong with it. So she's got 12 puppies here, and these all these are all looking great. Most dogs have litters half that size, and yeah, she's just amazing. But anyway, they're looking real good. So I just thought I'd show that because this is going to be a short short video today, I think, on uh, making the pigeon feeder. So I'll head over to the uh, to the workshop because I have a lot of young ones coming out of the nest. I need some nice feeders for them, and the, these will work great. So I'm going to get started. Just need small feeders but you can make the feeders as long as you want um, I'm just going 16 inches on these because I just need some small ones uh, I'm gonna need three of these pieces camera just fell off my fancy tripod so I reset it I set it back up So there's the box, and now we're going to put the uh, put the wires over the top. And we have this wire. I don't know, I don't remember where I got it, but it's uh, it's just stiff enough. shut the camera off for a second so I could figure out the length and uh, these are going to be 11 inches um, let me get the layout here first 8 inches in the center I'm going to go an inch and 7 eighths the whole inch and seven eighths. Just do that so that the drill doesn't follow the grain. When I start drilling, it'll uh, 
or starting in the center and then the drill will, will keep it there. wires at 11 inches and I'll show you how I bend them and put them in okay so I got nine of these I just take them try to bend them in the center and bring the bottoms bring the bottoms as even as you can like that about like that from here and just tweak them over a little bit So we get them tweaked over just a little like that and then when you pull them out, just push them right in there. So we'll do that for all nine. <clears throat> I'm going to put on the end here, um, I'm just going to put drill a hole and put a nail so that they, they can't enter through the end. Yeah, so I'll put the nails on the end. <clears throat> these here if you need to straighten them out a little bit. But um, the whole thing is the birds, uh, they're not, it's not comfortable at all for them to stand on here. So you can pretty much leave this feeder right in the, right in the lot. There you have it. Nice little feeder. That was probably good for like 10 pigeons or something. But uh yeah, yeah, there it is. So these are my four oldest from 2020 breeding. They hatched early February. And you can see they're enjoying that feeder. I just put one of them in here yesterday and it's, uh, it's doing well. I think it must be drinking, although I haven't seen it drink, but it's doing well. They're all doing well. They've been flying up. They've been going into perches. And my daughter gave them a uh, teddy bear. <clears throat> 